Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with the promo for Season 2, Episode 5, Euphoria. Last we saw, I talked about it a lot at the end of the last episode. I'm going to edit it up. I always get the promos out first because I can throw them right up, and then I edit them. I'm way behind this week because I ended up getting COVID, and I was feeling like shit. Sunday was probably my worst day, and I went to sleep like 7 or 8 o'clock. I didn't even finish the football game, which says a lot about how I was feeling. I'm going to throw the promo out, which is what I'm reacting to right now, and then I'm going to edit up the episode. But at the end of the episode, I talked a lot about Cal and a lot about how Elliot and Rue and Jules were all doing that thing and the Maddie and the Cassie thing. The way we ended everything with everybody leaves everybody kind of on edge. Not that he doesn't deserve it, but Nate had the craziest day of all. Nate was at the party with Maddie and Cassie that all that shit happened. Then he went home and experienced the aftermath of what Cal did after he came home from the nightclub and pissing on the floor and being told you're the biggest regret of my life after being dropped a bomb I'm like basically Cal's whole life on them in the middle of the night. I mean, the whole thing was crazy, but like I said, Nate deserves it. Where did Rue go? Rue is using her drugs that she's supposed to be selling. I have yet to see her even set anything up with that. So at some point she's going to have to start paying off this lady and she's not really doing much. And then where did she go? What is she doing? I'm jumping into the promo, we'll talk after. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, this as far ahead as humanly possible, and hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon, link at the end. If not, here we go, guys. Season 2, Episode 5, Promo for Euphoria. Sirens. I liked her the way she was. I liked her the way she was. The longer you use... All the chemicals in your brain that make you feel good. Stop feeling. Start to weaken and wither. Yeah. You, then you need more. The things that don't feel good don't feel as bad anymore. Less dark. All right, guys, so it looks like we're getting closer to Rue possibly dying or relapsing again, but in a more horrible and dangerous way. We keep seeing her having flashbacks of her father. In this episode that just passed, there's this whole thing with the church again. We saw that in the last promo. Her dad and her are hugging. She's in her room dancing with who she thinks is her father, but there's no one there. But she's like envisioning that apologizing for all her mistakes. They keep going back to that. At the end of this promo, it showed Rue as a child with her father, and it was her floating in a bathtub. We also saw in this episode her in a vision floating in a pool or something, or was that maybe, I don't know, I feel like it was Rue floating in a pool or a tub or something. They keep showing her, like, floating, and it's almost like she's empty and she can't hear anything and she's all by herself and she's, like, floating like she's barely alive, like barely on the surface, like you're almost about to drown, giving up on life, metaphors everywhere, but her father keeps popping in, and it seems like they're focusing a lot on that here. In the beginning, Elliot says, I liked her the way she was. I feel like they're trying to use words to scare us like she's dead, like like past tense, like she was. But no, I feel like things are getting really bad. It showed her mother sitting by her. It looked like she was shaking, like she had the chills and she's going through withdrawal. I feel like they mean the way she was like when Elliot first met her or something like that. I feel like they're trying to make Elliot more of a friend than not. But I'm still on the fence with him because even if he's supposed to be a friend, he is taking advantage of weak-willed people in lots of circumstances. They're yelling at Rue for drinking alcohol after they just robbed a liquor store for alcohol. And then they're like, what are you, crazy? Don't drink, you're on drugs. Like, where is the line between what is and isn't crazy in this world? Cal's doing the same thing, but let's not focus on that yet. Right now, we have Elliot, who is constantly doing drugs with Rue, lying to Jules about it, trying to hook up with Jules every second he can, telling Rue, let's get Jules jealous, makes out with Rue, then makes out with Jules, then they're all pitting against each other. He's even telling Jules, we should all hook up. Let's go rob a liquor store. Then they have the nerve to yell at Rue for 
drinking the alcohol. I know it's a bad idea, but everything is a bad idea. Everything these people do is a bad idea. Where do you get the nerve to say, what are you, crazy? How could you do it? Like, oh my God, they're all insane. But because they're all insane and there is no line, I don't know who actually means well. Like, Elliot can mean well and just be a young kid and be like, I could hook up with two girls and not realize the consequences of his actions. Or he could be a miserable piece of shit and be like, I'm just going to totally fuck with these two girls' heads, totally pit them against each other, hook up with both of them, and then when they're killing each other, I'll just dip and I'll do something else. I don't think he's that bad, but then again, look at this show. People are bad. People are really bad. Look how bad Nate got. I can imagine anybody is capable of anything. And then you have Cal at the end who does what he does, but this promo focused a lot on sirens and cops were chasing somebody, and then we showed the drug dealer Laura. I believe her name's Laura. Lori or Laura? They showed her talking about you're withering away. Like you use drugs that often. Eventually you're just going to wear away all your receptors and it's going to either take an insane amount to even feel anything, or you're just going to stop feeling anything. And then you die because then you take too many drugs and you can't get any satisfaction out of it. But she's using the drug she's supposed to be selling. I feel like they're showing sirens. They're showing the drug dealers. They're showing everything coming to a head. And I feel like things are going to get really bad for Rue. She's going to owe a ton of money. She's going to owe a ton of drugs. And she might even be close to death. I, I don't know. I, I doubt they'll kill Rue. I feel like that's too easy, especially for a show like this. I feel like they've done it too many times. You always expect the drug addict to die. I feel like you got to be better than that and do something else with it. Even if you get crazy and weird, you don't got to make them recover right away. But I, I feel like you can't kill Rue. She's too important and vital to the story. But we're going to jump into another show. You guys want to be way ahead, full unedited reactions to this and other shows I do. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are as far ahead as humanly possible on this show. Seasons ahead on other shows and hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. Link in front of me. If not, Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.